This quick introduction to Builder, our easy-to-use content management system, will help you get started with your guidebook guide. For detailed information about any features, visit our support site, support.guidebook.com. On your Builder homepage, builder.guidebook.com, you'll see a series of options based on your account and your organization's purchases. If you're a member of an organization, be sure to toggle to your organization account to find the org guides. Pre-purchased guides that have not been started yet exist in the Build New Guides tab. When you select a guide, you'll see the options to start without a template or copy content from a previous guide. The Org Guides section houses guides that are not brand new and belong to your organization. You can sort or search to manage many guides. If your org has purchased a branded app or a branded space, click the Org Spaces section to access the branding dashboard. To manage org details, if you're an admin of the org, hover in the top left and click. Unless you choose to start a pre-purchased guide without a template, you'll be taken through the guide details carousel. You can edit this information later on as well, so feel free to skip any steps if you don't have the information yet. The guide editor has two main sections. On the right, you'll see a list of items you need to take care of before you publish the guide. Once you add content to these features, the blue Submit button will be clickable. The left side contains the features that are in your guide. You can add additional features by clicking the Add Features to Your Guide option. On the menu, you can hold and drag items around to change the order or to put them into a folder. You can also edit guide details, the same items you filled out when you started the guide, add banner ads, and preview the guide. At the center top of your screen, you can click the home icon to return to your Builder homepage where we began this overview. Likely, the two main features of your guide will be the schedule and custom lists. Within the schedule, you can manually add sessions by clicking on the New Session button and filling out the information. The session name and duration fields are required. Alternatively, you can click the Data Import Sync button to upload your data with a template. You'll find the templates in the upper right, and after filling out the spreadsheet, you'll import it by clicking the Select File button under Import Schedule to the left, selecting the file and importing it. There are several other tabs within the Schedule feature. Tracks, which you can edit within specific sessions or on your template, are filtered views of your guide. You can also pin tracks to the menu for easy access. The Locations tab contains all the locations in your guide, including physical addresses and locations for various rooms on an image map. You can change the attendance settings for any of your sessions from the Attendance tab. The Settings tab has various toggles and options for your schedule, including changing the name and icon and toggling off star ratings. The Data Sync tab is a way to import existing public calendars into your guide, and the Discussion tab allows you to monitor session discussion. Our support website has specifics about each of these features if you'd like to dive deeper into any of them. Custom lists are another key component to your guide. They can be used for any information in a list format, like speakers, resources, organizations, majors, restaurants, sponsors, etc. You can manually add a custom list item from the New button, or you can click the Import from File button to download Guidebook's custom list template, add your information to the template, and import on the left side. To link content in your guide, like speakers to sessions, you can manually link from the Links tab of a session or custom list item by beginning to type the name of what you'd like to link and then selecting it from the list. If you are setting up many links, you can also use a linking template. Note that linking manually or with a template will result in links that go both ways, for example, from session to speaker and speaker to session. To link PDFs and URLs, click the respective button and fill in the information. You can also link URLs directly in the description of the session or list item and have the links open in a new tab. This is what we recommend for most meeting platforms. If you'd like to add YouTube, Vimeo, or Twitch videos, select the Videos tab and add a new video. Other critical features include Connect, in which users can share contact information and chat, Interact, a newsfeed for your guide, and Maps, which allow you to link sessions and custom list items directly to their location on a floor plan or a navigational map. Click Back to Dashboard in the upper left to access your guide dashboard. The dashboard has content related to the whole guide, like metrics, notifications, and your guidebook webpage. The placement of the cards changes based on the phase of guide building you are in. To export data, click the ellipsis button next to your guide title and select Export Data. Choose the information you'd like to export, and you'll receive an email with a CSV file. Your guidebook webpage is both a landing page to download your app and a website to include schedule and custom list content. 
Users can participate in session discussion, watch videos, use live polls, and much more. We're continuing to iterate on Guidebook Web to make more functionality available. The audience management card is where you can invite users to your guide, as well as set up groups, preset schedules, user interests, and other items pertaining to your guide audience. Send and schedule notifications from the notifications card, and set up surveys and live polls from the surveys and polls section. The promote card has various resources to help promote your guide, and metrics will give you information like how many downloads your guide had and what the most popular schedule session was. If you're interested in purchasing Guidebook, you can reach out to our sales team at sales at guidebook.com. If you're already a Guidebook client and have additional questions, reach out to your account manager, our support team at support at guidebook.com, or visit our detailed support resources at support.guidebook.com.